going to do is a flip through of these two journals that I just made. Um, they're similar. There are some subtle differences, and you can see right off the bat that um, I went ahead and sewed around this front, and this one is not sewn. So there's some things like that that are a little bit different in each one. This one has kind of a, a beige, uh, iridescent, um, almost gold-looking ribbon that, tie, that it ties through, and I keep my journals very simple. Uh, there's not a lot of tchotchkes hanging off because I think that the basis is to be able to write in them and they need to be able to lay flat. So uh, when I'm designing them and creating pages and tucks and stuff like that, I try to keep that in mind that the point is people are going to write in these. So um, I'm going to move this one off to the side. This um, journal itself has five signatures. Um, so it's pretty full, uh, not too full to add your own things to it, but it is pretty full. So let me untie it and we'll get you in camera here. So when you open up the front, um, this is a fold out and I'm going to just move it so that you can see it folds all the way out. Okay. And these are envelopes. And then this is a, a journaling card and there's like lettering on the back or whatever, talk. I'm just gonna pull some of these things out and kind of show you what's there. I'm trying to make it go pretty quick. Uh, I do leave a lot of blank pages in my journals for writing. Excuse me, you can write on all of these pages here. A little tuck here it's a little tuck area with a journal card and this I just stamped some old lettering in, in purple to kind of match the journal I thought it was pretty but this is the center of this signature and like I said I do try to leave enough pages for people to journal or add their own stuff there's a tuck with a blank paper for journaling. And here's a pocket with a little journaling paper that matches. And then this is a little tuck area I made and with another journaling paper in there. I thought that was kind of cool. With a miniature postcard down here. And this is a card that opens up a journaling card that I have just clipped on here with a little purple clip. And a journaling card in a corner pocket with a little pad of paper that says believe. I think originally that was kind of the theme I wanted was uh, believe. So it is a couple different places throughout the journal. And more places for journaling. There's a little uh, pocket tuck envelope with um, blank, I think I can get it on camera, blank journaling paper in there. My camera is just moving. Let's see if I can get it to stay up a little higher. Let's see if we can get that there. And there's the first, uh, these, uh, each signature has a tab, so here's the first tab. We're in the second signature, so here's the second tab. And then we just, I just stenciled a little on there. And this is an uh, envelope with a card with paper inside. And again, a stencil on there. Writing, for writing, and again, blank space. And you can add your own um, tucks, or you know, if you wanna take the journal and, and try to um, embellish it with your own little pockets or tucks or whatever, you can feel free to do that. 
This is an envelope with blank paper and it's a tuck. So I've got a card back there as well. Blank paper. And this is a Rita Donnelly flip, so you can flip it up and journal there as well. And this is um, kind of like a belly band usually goes top to bottom, but I've got a side tuck in here similar to a belly band with a, a tag. And this has the material from the cover of the book and then another like a journaling area here tucked in there. And this is a coffee filter that I coffee stained. And I've got a couple of cards in here for journaling. So I've got this one goes in the back and then there's a second tuck right here. And then a little tiny journaling card in the front. More tucks and pockets and whatever. This is um, writing on this side of the paper but the inside is blank for journaling so you can Keep your memories or secrets in there and this was kind of cool I went ahead and stenciled uh, this blank paper but you can still write on it it's light enough you can write uh, there's an envelope with some blank paper in it and it's just um, paper clip down there so you can you know move it or do whatever you want and this is just a little banner that I Put on there for decoration but again if you take the envelope off you can journal on here here's another envelope with a little corner tuck and what i did was i actually included one of the cards that i made it's a watercolor card it's blank so you could give it as a gift or you can journal on it but i did sign it um and it fits right in there it's a five by seven card so that's in there. And then a journaling card. And there's a journaling, just a fold out for journaling that I have just laid over there. And there's a little tuck card, again with um, material that matches. I just tried to leave as much space as I could for uh, writing, your thoughts. Here's another flip. You can journal in there. It's a fabric flip. You can tuck whatever you want in here. You can write in here and then uh, flip that over. This is cool. This is a flip up and a journaling card behind it. And there's just a journaling card that I stenciled on the back of. And this is a flip as well. It's just a little decoration for the page. Um, again, lines, some lined paper there, blank card. But all of these pages you can journal anywhere on here. Now, this is kind of cool. These papers right here were scrapbook papers that I wasn't crazy over. This one in particular was a fuchsia pink and black zebra stripe. You can probably see it. Um, let's see if I can lift it up there, in there. But um, I gessoed, I did some work on these papers. This was a plaid, like lime green and fuchsia pink and turquoise. And I just um, gessoed over them and stamped over them and created papers that I absolutely loved. So that's what uh, an idea of what you can do with old scrapbook paper that maybe in a pack that you didn't use those sheets. Um, and there's a card tucked in there. There's a tuck with some paper, blank paper. Again, journaling space. Again, the word believe in a pocket, a little journaling card. And this would be a perfect place for you to make your own like envelope, you know, to keep your little mementos in or something. It's another Rita Donnelly flip. A couple of journaling cards and this one opens three-way like this and then this um, is a tag but this envelope actually I've got it tucked here <clears throat> it's just a paper that you can journal on and I've got it folded like an envelope and tucked right down here in this little ticket to hold it closed and then here's some journaling this is like a belly band 
and then a journaling card and some journaling cards in this little envelope. Are we doing 11 minutes? Um, here's a, just a flip with some blank paper. I'm gonna kinda hurry through so I make it less than 15 minutes. Um, here's an envelope that I made. Again, it's just paper for journaling. And there's an envelope, a coin envelope with some paper in it. And here's some blank paper in a tuck. And this is a fold out with a card. And it's a three, it folds out three times. And again, all of these little Rita Donnelly flips are for journaling. Card and blank paper, and this is a folded sheet. Isn't she pretty? Just a blank sheet in that little tuck there. And then here's our last Oh, this is the last signature, so here's our last tab. I think the center signature does not have a tab, because I think I was originally gonna do four signatures, and I decided, no, 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 I wanna do five. So the middle signature does not have a tab, but then this is a fold out. And a flip up and a blank card. Just a journaling spot, journaling paper. If you can see, I did some stitching here, just some little leaves in there. It's an envelope with a tuck for, here's one that's got paper for journaling. Getting towards the end. And then I included a little, uh, this is part of my artwork and illustration. I put that little card in there for you as well. So you're getting a watercolor card and this as my personal artwork. And there's a tuck and again, a Rita Donnelly flip. And this is a flip as well. And so you can tuck stuff behind it or whatever you wanna do. And then here's some more cards, writing paper. And then there's a tag back here. And then at the very last, it's an open space, and then I've got a little tuck in here, a little pad of paper. And then that's the whole journal right there. It's pretty full, but not so full that you can't add your own uh, tucks, or if you wanna, like I said, embellish it yourself, add some things to some of the pages, you can. And uh, it just, I have little uh, rivets right here for the ribbon to go through, but just ties closed so there's room for expansion. Um, these journals both will go on my in my Etsy shop um, tomorrow. I'll go ahead and list them today and get them active for tomorrow. If you're interested, hop on it. Thank you so much. I love doing these and I love the purple. So if you like purple or you know somebody that loves purple, these are for you. 